This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm speaking to Dr. Eugene Grassi, who has reported on a novel device for fixing uh, left ventricular geometry and mitral regurgitation. And uh, Dr. Grassi, could you tell a bit about the findings that you made? Certainly. We, I was at this meeting, I was reporting the results of the COAPSIS trial, which was an FDA multicenter trial, prospective trial, which took patients with functional mitral insufficiency. In other words, valves that were normal, but the valves leaked because the ventricle was damaged. And these patients were randomized either to standard surgery, which included bypass surgery and repairing the mitral valve, or to the bypass surgery and without using the heart-lung machine, putting a suture and a device around the heart, which squeezed the heart together to reshape it. So this was a left ventricular reshaping trial. And the outcomes that you saw? Well, the outcomes that we saw were a little bit surprising uh, in the sense that by two years, there was twice the mortality with our standard procedure. Uh, and by that, I mean with reshaping the ventricle, we had cut the mortality half of what was expected. The mortality from the control arm was just as every other known trial of mitral valve repair surgery for this kind of patient showed. The surprising thing was was that we were able to demonstrate that by tackling the ventricle, we were able to cut that long-term mortality in half. And uh, correction of the mitral regurgitation as well? We also corrected the mitral regurgitation. We didn't do as good a job of correcting the mitral regurgitation as we did with the standard mitral annuloplasty. However, uh, this we sort of have a disconnect now. We have a way of treating the ventricle, and we all know this is a ventricular disease. So how we're going to use this in the future is sort of unknown, but I think this is sort of a, an important piece of work that stands out there as a light post that, yes, not only is this a ventricular disease, that, but by treating the ventricle, we're going to be able to help these patients in addition to fixing everything else. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a kind of a problem, or the, this device is on uh, standby now because of a problem with the company that has right. uh, with the financial it. With the financial crisis a year and a half ago, the company which produced the device and was the sponsor for the trial ceased to exist. So the company's intellectual property has been bought by other companies, and we'll, we have yet to see a commercial equivalent for it. But I think now knowing that we have that we that taking this approach to treating these patients with heart failure, that we can really help these patients in something as concrete as mortality benefit, I think we're going to see a lot of equivalent devices, different ways of doing it, ways of focusing on treating the ventricle, not the mitral alone. Thank you, Dr. Grassi for Global Medical News Network. This is Mitchell Zoller.